everyone this is Anna and welcome to another tutorial of Delineum marketing and today I'm going to show you how can you create a beautiful seamless floral pattern in Adobe Illustrator CS6 this is very simple and easy way to design it by using this technique you can create uh, different type of uh, floral designs or whatever you want to do you can just use this technique to create different uh, patterns and so let's start now first of all what you have to do i am just using this uh, spiral tool uh, from the lines and uh, line segment tool by by using this you can just create this but a spiral tool i'm pressing shift and drag a simple spiral like this so you can see how it would be look like and now what I'm going to do I'm just uh, using this ellipse tool from here and dragging a simple longer uh, oval and removing the stroke color from here and fill, fill color will be black and it will be look like this and now you have to go into your pan tool and here convert anchor point tool and just click on this point to make a sharp edge and here uh, I want to intact uh, this direct selection tool or you can press the A from your keyboard click over here and use this smooth uh, handle and click on it and just dragging in inward direction so it will be look like this and now uh, we have to just scale it down and make it a little longer just stretch it uh, there is no problem if you are stretching it to because we are going to create a brush uh, to uh, design our floral pattern so now what i'm going to do i want to add it in your brushes library so i will choose the brushes from here and drag it to uh, brushes uh, window so uh, I want to create an art brush from here press ok and method will be 10 cent shades flip along and here direction will be left to right I want to scale it down with the 62 percent and press ok so it's uh, you can see that it's been added into the brush library and now I want to remove it from here and uh, the next step that we have to do you just need to come over here in the paint brush tool and now simply drag a uh, design like this here you can remove the fill color from here and now the stroke uh, point will be 0.25 so you can see that if you want you can increase it as well so that is around 0.5 points so you can see how it would be look like i want to create another one so you can see how it would be i think this one is much better than that and now the next uh, 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 one I think that I'm going to do now here uh, I'm simply taking this one and here uh, I'm clicking on this uh, PM art brush tool and now it will be it will change its position because now it's been occupied with this with these settings so it you know, I want to choose 0.25 or might be 0.5 here and simply adding here like this so you can see how it will be looking like this if you want you can also uh, make an angle to this and uh, you can simply put it here in this way and now I want to take a copy of this from here and simply rotating it up and here I want to connect this so it will be looking like this after doing these things and now you can simply scale, go into the object, expand appearance and reduce it down like this, go into the expand again so it will be looking like this and now I want to do a little angling to this design so it will be looking like this. Now I want to remove this one from here and it's ready to make a pattern now because I just want to create a simple uh, floral pattern. So and now uh, you have to go into the object here you can find the Adobe Illustrator you know this function is only available in Adobe Illustrator CS6 if you are working on the uh, previous versions uh, like CS3 or the others then it, this function will not be available then you have to follow the seamless patterns uh, 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 another way then, uh, of doing the of creating the seamless pattern but this is the very cool effect that has been added into the uh, CS6 so we are going to use this function now you can go into the object pattern and make and here I want to use this one so you can see how beautifully it's been connected now the here are the settings that you can do I want to use hex by row here 
and uh, if uh, I have already shown you that how can you make uh, different settings in my uh, seamless uh, pattern uh, playlist so if you want to see my other tutorials related with these seamless patterns then you can also see that here I want to do the settings to make it uh, more aligned and connected with each other so you can see how it will look like make sure everything should be well connected with each other but should not be overlapped and uh, should not uh, you know uh, creating a cutting effect or something like this it need to be merged and all connected with each other so it will be looking like this now and here you can take a copies nine by nine and make sometimes it's a uh, dim points to 70 percent so you can if you want then you can make it 200 percent right right now i'm using the 100 percent so i will go with this one and here you can just give it a name like uh, floral pattern and uh, now it's uh, ready to done now uh, so i press done and now i'm going to remove it from here and uh, here i'm using a simple rectangle here and dragging a rectangle like this and now what i'm going to do i am taking this lower pattern from here because it's been added into this mesh library so I'm taking this one here, taking here, and removing the stroke from here. And now simply click on it, select it, go into the transform here in the scale, and um, unmark uh, the transform objects. And here you can make settings to increase and decrease the size of your floral pattern. So I want to go with the 33% so it seems uh, like a good pattern design so here it's been added and now it, you can use it uh, if you want uh, then you can also create some you know uh, background to this design so uh, what I'm going to do I'm simply taking uh, the background color so uh, you can arrange it send to pack so you can see that how beautifully it's been uh, arranged and um, the pattern has been uh, uh, you know in front of you so this is a very simple and easy way to create these type of uh, uh, floral patterns and you can use your creativity and you can define you can design different types so that i wanted to show you today thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel i will come back to you another tutorial have a very good day bye bye